Welcome back to Master Man. So I'm going to take this opportunity to show you all how to change out your dead battery. My truck battery is completely dead. We know it's the battery. It's not the alternator. I had the folks at AutoZone check it out. So let me just go ahead and show you how to take off the, the cables from the terminals. I definitely always verify whether it's the alternator or the battery. There you go. So it will not start completely dead and I'm just glad it's not the alternator all right these are usually size 10 millimeters we're gonna take off these two bolts here all right so we can lift the cables off of the terminals all right and just lift it off just like that put that to the side then let's go get the negative for the black let's see how they got this one So this is the bolt here that you want to loosen up on this cable and then you should be able to lift it up. This is a little snug, but if you just wiggle it and move it around, it will come off. All right, the third bolt to get is this one right here, which is basically a plastic clamp that keeps the battery from sliding around. So let's go ahead and take that bolt off. Okay, we've added two extensions just to be able to reach down there and not hit the battery. It is also a size 10 millimeter for that bolt right there. So let's go ahead and do it. Just take it nice and easy. Not too bad, just a few turns there. Well, there you go, just take that plastic block out we'll, for the new battery, okay? So leave that there for now. We should be able to take the old battery out. See if I can lift it out. All right. We're gonna clean out the battery bay real quick though. When you put the new battery in, make sure the back side of it goes underneath here. This plastic unit goes right here to clamp down the battery on both the back and the front. So this plastic block here will hold the battery in place. There we go, get a few threads with your hand. Uh, see how it's tightening that battery down nice and secure. You don't want this battery sliding around once you're out there driving. There we go. And that's not going anywhere. We're gonna apply some of this grease to the terminals to make sure it has good contact. Take these covers off, spread it around a little bit. Do the same thing on this one. All right, so that's it. We got both of them all greased up. So now you just grab the terminal, the negative first. Make sure it's all the way down and have it straight the same way it was with the old one. And then I'm just gonna tighten it with my hand preliminarily. And it's pretty neat because these are all size 10. The alarm's probably gonna go off here once I connect the positive. Let's see what it does here. Oh, okay. I guess not. Okay, so everything's good. It's good, we make contact. We're gonna tighten that down. Again, it doesn't have to be super tight. Let's move it around, it's nice and secure. All right, let's get this one down. Do it with your hand real quick to where it gets, where it starts tightening down just a bit. There we go, nice and snug. You have a new battery in your truck or vehicle. Uh, again, most trucks, cars are the same. All right, I guess I have to close the hood to do a remote start. Here it goes. We're good to go. Let's let this AC run. Everything's up and going. So once again here at Master Mayhem, just trying to help make life a little easier and work more efficient. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, share, comment. Subscribe to the channel. Check out our Power Tool giveaway every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And until next time, I only hope all the best to you and yours.